Enter your email to get started. If you're planning to upgrade to one of System.io's paid plans, this one-time offer seems like a good deal, but it's not necessary to upgrade when you're just getting started. Here are all the features available with System.io's free plan. So after you confirm your email, you come to a dashboard page that looks something like this. The first thing we're gonna do is to create the course, then we'll create the sales page to sell the course. If you'd like to support our channel, you can sign up for System.io using the link in the description. If you use our link and upgrade to a paid plan, we may earn a commission at no cost to you. To create a course, go to products, then click on courses, click on add new course. We're gonna create a copy of our course, channel launch roadmap, taught by me in English. Choose the course domain. We're gonna fix this later. Then you need to choose the URL path. This will be channel-launch-roadmap. And then why don't we upload a photo of me, our logo, as well as a course cover. Down here is where you would select the sales page, but we don't have the sales page yet. So we'll connect that a little bit later on. So we're just gonna click on save. This video is sponsored by Porkbun.com, the best domain registrar according to USA Today and our top domain registrar of 2024. You can find out more about Porkbun in this video that you find in the description below. For a dollar off the purchase of a new domain or off the transfer of your domain to Porkbun, use the link below or enter the code thefigco24 at checkout. Now we wanna actually fill in the course. To do that, click on your course, then add module, give the module a name, let's say welcome, save. Then if you click on the module, you can add a lecture. This will also just say welcome. There's no delay. Enable comments if you want right here. Choose the template. Oops, I don't need to preview it. This is the one I want. Select template and save. And let's start editing. So all the pages are super easy to edit with System.io. They all look pretty similar. Course pages, sales pages, landing pages, anything like that is gonna look a lot like this. So the very first thing I wanna do is get rid of this video and add our welcome video that we're going to click on the settings dial we don't have a direct link we're going to upload the video file to do that click on this drop the video file right here now we want to insert this video and then here down below we can go and edit the text if we want to add a four three two column layout if we want to add headline text bulleted list there's a whole bunch of options of additional things you could add here also, if there are things you do not want, you can just highlight a particular section like this text, the row, for example, so we can highlight or, and delete this whole section, this as well. Maybe the only thing we want for the welcome lesson is the video. We can click on save changes and then click on the exit button in the top right hand corner and we're back to the main course page. So we could add additional lectures to this module, or we could add a new module. Maybe this is our video ideas module, save. All right, and then again, if we click here, we can add a lecture. We're gonna add, give it a name, choose the template, let's enable comments, select template, save, open, and let's add another video. Now that that finished uploading, let's insert the video. Here is our video ideas video. And again, you can go through and make any edits to the lessons page you like. I'm just gonna leave it as is, save the changes and exit. Let's say we are good with this. This is our entire course. The next thing we would wanna do is go in and activate the lessons. So you click on the three dots and click on activate. You're about to activate this lecture, confirm. And let's do the same thing with the welcome. The next thing I wanna do is set up the custom domain. To do that, you wanna click on your icon and then click on settings. And then about two thirds of the way down, you'll see custom domains. One of the great things with System.io that you won't find elsewhere, you can also connect a custom domain with that same free plan. If you don't have a domain and you just wanna use System.io subdomain, you can change that right here. Hover over the three dots, click on edit subdomain, and we can change it and save. So that could be our subdomain, but if you want to use your own domain, click on add domain in the top right hand corner. If you need a domain for your website or online school, we recommend purchasing your domain from Porkbun. A .com domain costs $10.37 per year, and you can get a dollar off the first year by using the link in the description. Your domain purchase includes who is privacy protection, an SSL certificate, DNS management, web and email hosting trials, and amazing customer service by phone or email 365 days a year. I own the domain jjthalen.com. We're gonna create the subdomain courses.jjthalen.com for everything we do with system.io. Enter the domain you'd like to use and click on save. You can also find more information 
at this help article right here. To connect your custom domain, enter these two CNAME records. Now we're gonna enter the two CNAME records in the DNS settings of where we purchased our domain, porkbun.com. With porkbun, after you enter the two CNAME records, you can scroll down to the bottom and you'll see them right here. All right, so I added these two records, so I'll close out of this. This might take a few minutes to validate, so let's continue with the tutorial. And the next step will be to set up our sales page. To do that, click on funnels and then create a new funnel. Give the funnel a name. You can see the partially updated URL will have the new one shortly. And then what is the goal of this funnel? Build an audience, sell custom, or run an evergreen webinar. We're going to sell a product or service. The currency is the US dollar and save. All right, so we have the funnel. If we click on the funnel, we can edit it. So to start off, we have an order form and a thank you page. The First thing that we're actually gonna need is a sales page. So if we click on add step, channel launch sales page, type sales page, save. And then this would be the first step of the process. So we're gonna wanna move that up to the top. Then what we have are a bunch of different templates that we could use. You can see here are a few and scrolling down, how many would you like to view at once? If you click on 30, you can see a whole bunch more. Let's start editing this template here. Click select, give it a name, as well as edit the URL path. We'll just call it channel launch, and then we'll edit this page. So this will look very similar to what we edited with the course pages. We can hover over anything we don't like. For example, with a sales page, I wouldn't recommend having all the things along the top, like home features pricing. You're really just gonna want one focus, which is the sell. So we'll delete this. And then here, I don't want an image. I would rather have a video. So let's see, the image, delete, delete. And then where are videos? Video, all right, so if we, oops, no, 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 no. Command Z, and that just deleted it. What I wanted to do, let's go back up here, grab the video, and then drag it to this little section. There is the video, click on settings, Direct link, no, upload file. That video finished uploading, let's insert it. All right, so we have the sales video. It's time to launch your YouTube channel. Then we can update this text. Then the button, what do we wanna change here? So where is the button gonna take someone? The next step URL, so that would be the order page. That is correct. What do we want this to say? Let's say ready for takeoff. And I'm not sure I like that color. Let's see, what do we have? Background color. Let's do that right there. All right, so we have a red button. Here's this, and then again, any part of this. So you have different sections here. What you can do is if you hover over, so for example, you can change the order of the sections. If you don't like the section, you can just delete it. It's all customizable either by clicking on something here and you have the elements along the left-hand side as well as these different blocks. And then, like with the menu at the top, I would get rid of all this within the footer because it's distracting and we want someone to focus on making a purchase. So hover over basically all of this. The one thing I would like to do at the very bottom of the page though, is let's go through and add another button. So we have the button here and this isn't submit a form, it would be next step URL. And then here, click here ready to launch my channel, and we don't want any subtext, and we should probably use the same color button throughout. So this red looks a lot like the YouTube red. I think that would work. So let's say this is our web page. We double checked everything, make sure it looks good. We would save all the changes. Then after the sales page, we'll exit out of this. Then what we wanna do is to move on to the order form. The order form, again, there are templates. Let's go with this template, edit the URL path, and then what is it that we're offering here? Well, it's a digital product. What type of digital product? So let's connect the resources, select the resource. Well, we have courses, choose a course, channel launch roadmap, course access type, full access. You can also have partial access or drip content. So if you wanted to release a module each week, you could set that into the design of your course. We wanna just give everyone access immediately. You can also grant access on a specific date and you can also have the content expire. Then click on save. 
And then before we edit the order form, one thing that we want to do is to connect a payment gateway allowing us to accept payments. So let's just follow along the steps right here. Here are all the different payment gateways you can use with system.io. In the US, at least the two most popular are gonna be Stripe and PayPal. Let's go through and connect a PayPal account. Click on connect. Then it wants a username, password, and signature. There's a help article showing you how to find this information within your PayPal account. To connect PayPal, go to paypal.com, log in, go to your account settings, then account access, and then under API access, click on update. Scroll down until you see NVP slash SOAP API integration classic. And then here's where you'll get the username, password, and signature. Once you've entered that, click on save. I had to refresh this page and you can see now my PayPal account is connected. Now let's go back to what we were doing a second ago and go back to funnels, channel launch roadmap funnel, order form, oh, we didn't update the name, and then if we scroll down further, we can now add a price plan. So choose a price plan type, select a one-time payment subscription or a payment plan. We're gonna go with one-time payment and choose an existing price plan. We don't have one, so let's create one. All right, so we're gonna give it a name, channel launch roadmap. So this will be displayed on the order form, price plan name displayed on your dashboard same thing. And then statement descriptor. This is important. We have 22 characters that will show up on someone's bank statement or credit card statement so they know what they purchased. The fig code channel launch price plan type, one-time payment. How much is the one-time payment? $47 USD and save. Oops, too long. Let's say the Figco launch. All right, save. Rock and roll. Okay, so we've got that all set up. Now let's edit this page. So again, the same editing we saw earlier. What all do we want here? So payment info, let's say that that's fine. You're fine with the font. Maybe we should change this image. Let's change the image and we're gonna upload this teleprompter image. So we've got that there. And then you're gonna see here, this is set up to only show on desktop. If you want this also display on the mobile version, you can scroll down and you'll see right here. Oops, I wasn't clicked on it right now. All right, this section, if we scroll down. So only desktop, if we click on mobile, now it'll show up on both. You can edit any of these things, however you like. All right, so now if we look along the right-hand side, so maybe we say student information, and then what all do we need? First name, last name, email, phone number. Do we need someone's phone number? I don't know, let's get rid of it. And then we have street address, city, zip code, country, individual or company. It's more individuals that are buying this, so let's just get rid of anything related to companies. There's that, payment methods, and then price details. You see channel launch roadmap, $47. Validate, I think we should update. So let's say purchase now. And so both the loading text as well as the button text, we're just going to say purchase now. And this color kind of blends in. So let's update that. Why don't we again go with the YouTube ish red color. And if that looks good to you, so you have down here a whole bunch of things. Jane Doe obviously is not me. And then also this no need to be included, let's get rid of it. Order page, check, save changes, exit. Okay, order page is done. The next thing that someone will see after the order page is a thank you page. Let's get that going. So something really simple, like this one would work. Thanks, and let's edit. So something like this, and then what do we wanna say for check your inbox for login details? We're excited to help you launch your channel. Click below to get started. And let's make some changes to this. So what we wanna do here is give someone a link to the course. I don't have that right now. Open in a new window, that's fine. And then we want to go and edit some of this. All right, ready for takeoff. And again, let's just stick with the red that we've been using. And what is this, gradient? No, solid, boom. 
All right, let's launch your channel together. Here we go. Save changes. All right, now that we finished those pages, let's go into the funnel settings. Here you can see we have the name, the funnel domain. If we click the drop down, you can see the other domain has now been validated. So we can use our custom domain with the free plan. What type of payment methods do we want? PayPal. Let's save that. And you can see now the URL pass all updated with courses.jjthalen.com. One very last thing we need to do before everything's good to go is we need to activate the course. So earlier you saw me activate the lessons of the course, but if we go back to this courses page, you see the gray status. What we need to do is mouse over this and then go down to activate, activate the course. And there we go. And you can see the sales page is live at courses.jjthalen.com slash channel dash launch. Don't forget to use Porkbun if you need to buy a new domain or if you want to save some money on a domain you already own. You could transfer your domain to Porkbun, saving you money on the annual renewals. Get a dollar off new domains and transfers by using the code thefitco 24 at checkout. This video just scratches the surface on all the amazing features System.io has available, even with their free plan. If you want to learn more about how to use System.io, check out the video right here, and I hope to see you in another video. Bye-bye.